Imagine being unable to hear the world's beauty or express your own voice. This was the reality for a deaf man in the gospel. But then, Jesus stepped in, shattering his silence and unleashing a symphony of connection. Could he do the same for you? A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee, into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment, and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears, and, spitting, touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned, and said to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened. His speech impediment was removed, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel of Mark 7 verses 31 to 37 resonates with a power that transcends time. It's the story of a man, deaf and mute, brought to Jesus for healing. Let's delve into its depths, allowing the Word to open our own hearts and minds. Imagine the man's isolation, trapped in a silent world, unable to express himself. He yearns for connection, for the ability to hear the world's symphony and contribute his own unique voice. Jesus, ever compassionate, takes him aside, creating a space of intimacy. His touch, his sigh, his whispered word, Ephatha, be opened. Shatter the man's silence, unleashing a torrent of sound and speech. He is no longer isolated, he belongs, his voice echoing in the chorus of humanity. This passage isn't just a historical anecdote, it's a call to action. We, like the deaf man, can be isolated by our own limitations, fear, prejudice, pride, or simply the busyness of life. Jesus invites us to seek intimacy with him, to create quiet spaces for his healing touch. He wants to open our hearts to hear his voice, his truth, and to use our voices to proclaim his love. The healing miracle signifies God's power to overcome any obstacle. It reminds us that through faith in the sacraments, especially reconciliation and Eucharist, we receive His grace, opening ourselves to His transformative love. We are not defined by our limitations, but by the boundless possibilities offered in Christ. The man's transformation invites us to reflect on our own need for conversion. Are there areas in our lives where we are deaf to God's voice or mute in expressing His love? Reconciliation offers a chance to shed these burdens and receive His healing touch. Let us approach the sacrament with open hearts, ready to be transformed and empowered. Just as Jesus used physical touch and spoken word, the sacraments are tangible expressions of God's love. Through baptism, we are incorporated into Christ's body, our ears open to His Word. In confession, we confess our deafness and muteness, receiving forgiveness and the grace to speak and hear anew. In the Eucharist, we are nourished by Christ's Word and life, becoming instruments of His love in the world. As we close this reflection, remember the man's joy, his newfound connection. Let us, too, open ourselves to Jesus, allowing Him to heal our deafness and silence. May we, empowered by His Word and sacraments, become voices that proclaim His love, building a world where everyone can hear and be heard, creating a symphony of unity and compassion.